Hi friends, I'd like to talk to you today about pain. Pain comes in many forms. You can experience psychological pain, emotional pain, biomechanical pain, physiological pain. If you're human, you most likely have experienced some form of pain. Like yourself, I myself have had my share of pain. Some of my pain um, began when I was a child and I was on a trampoline and fell backwards on it and wrenched my back. Didn't realize that that was an issue for me um, until many years later. But in college, when I was uh, studying to be a dancer, I ended up with a lower back injury, which I never told anyone about. But it felt like a nerve pain going down into my buttock area and then down into my leg and I thought like a dancer normally we could stretch anything out and that would make it go away but this one wasn't going away and I did try chiropractic uh, I had been using that for many years that's what my family believed in and I still to this day use that as a, a tool for helping me to stay well and in this particular circumstance, I was uh, in my last year of college and was dancing in a company and it just was not going away. And um, I did try a couple of other therapies, but nothing was really getting rid of it. So this little pain subsisted with me for the remainder of my life uh, up till this day. Um, but I have found different ways of dealing with it when it comes up. Because there isn't any one movement or thing that I do that aggravates it, it has come to my awareness over time that it is mostly psychological, emotional based. And this is the part that I want to talk to you about because we can have pain that arises from something that we have done to ourselves, right? We we physically exert ourselves, we may be sore the next day, we know why we're sore. Um, we get into an accident and there's physical injury and that explains the cause of our pain. But sometimes pains just arise and we don't know where they come from. Like one day I woke up, um, I remember it was September of 2011 and I woke up with this pain in my wrist, in my thumb. Now granted, as a massage therapist, we're bound to have these strange injuries throughout our, our years of work, but this one wouldn't go away with anything that I tried. It was, um, it was in the joint. I tried um, acupressure, acupuncture, nutrition, essential oils, um, electric stimulation, um, chiropractic, there was a new technique in chiropractic where they, I forgot the name of it, um, but they were rubbing a, a piece of metal across my tendon um, and that wasn't even working and I really thought this was physical until I found my way to a Jin Shin Do practitioner and, <clears throat> excuse me, she was able to release the source of my lower back pain in five minutes and from that I realized I need to learn how to do this technique and so I went to the course and on the very first class we did a release technique and my pain went away and so this is what I want to talk to you about the underlying causes of pain that we're not aware of and I've had many different healing modalities throughout the years and I have these stories that I'd like to share with you so you can get a glimpse into the possibility that maybe the pain you're having isn't just rooted in the way you slept or the mattress or the, the way that you sit at your desk. There are multiple reasons why we're having pain. So for example, this wrist pain that I had, when I was getting the treatment, it was um, part of uh, the, the modality to allow yourself to just be present with whatever thoughts or feelings come up and then 
allow yourself to, to bring them forth, to process them. So what happened to me was I had a vision of, um, I had a thought come to me that I said, um, I have, um, I'm afraid of, of failing, afraid of falling. And um, then I, I was starting to realize the truth in that. That was very real. I was um, in a place of transition in my life and I just I really was afraid to um, make any mistakes. So as I allowed myself to feel that emotion, I realized that it could take a while for me to really release all of that, and I didn't want to waste my practitioner's time. So I said, what could turn that around? What would really happen if I fell? So I imagined myself falling backwards, and what appeared was a bed of feathers. And then suddenly the falling wasn't really that scary after all. It was actually kind of light and fun. And this completely changed the energy in my body. So when I got done with that treatment, my wrist didn't hurt anymore. And it hasn't hurt till this day. I really never associated that finger with falling. But I, afterwards I realized that when you fall, you put your hands out. Um, to re to catch your fall, so that made sense after a while. But you know the brain doesn't really understand consciously why you have things going on in your body. It's when you get into that relaxed place, and you when you're assisted by a practitioner as well, that these things can come forth, and then it's your unconscious speaking, and you can allow that to make some real change for you. The technique I'm talking about is Jin Shin Do acupressure. And it is a technique I have now been trained to teach. And I am, uh, been, I've been practicing it for four years now, um, at least. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that I have helped a lot of people through pain and suffering with this technique. I have also had other pains in my body that were released by other practitioners. Uh, that pain I talked about from falling backwards on the trampoline when I was nine, that released during a Reiki treatment. Um, I suddenly felt that pain again, and I hadn't felt that for years, but it was still in my body. So when it came forth and I felt the emotions around what happened when I fell backwards, um, it was an opportunity to release that from my body as well. From there, um, I have had elbow pain that was unexplained that when I finally got some treatment for it through the Jin Shindo training, it released the deeper sources which helped me to understand what I was really thinking on uh, about all the time on an unconscious level. For example, um, this arm, I felt elbow pain and it was about doing work that I love. And then the other elbow was a little bit harder to surface, but when it came up, it was about um, carrying a burden. So, you know, when these things came out, I was able to just be pain free. And I love being able to share that experience with others because it's not just my experience. I have this happen for, um, for patients um, every day. Uh, for example, um, uh, women are coming to me lately who have had abusive situations with their marriage and um, they're having those memories come forth, be released, and those usually sit in the lower back area. And one thing that I'm going to talk about is how the energy body is um, related to your physical body. So we'll be doing that um, at a different time. But for, for now, I just wanted to share these experiences with you, just so that you can understand that things aren't always in the physical form. So really, what um, I want you to understand is that even though you think maybe um, if I just go about my day, just keep going and pretend it's not there, it'll just go away. That really doesn't work, okay? Your body has this nifty way of allowing you to continue doing what you're doing, but it just kind of, uh, your brain takes the focus off of that pain. 
So it's like a, a, a way you can adapt to stressors. When you do this, your body is, it's a mechanism called habituation. And it's where your body recognizes, okay, this is my new normal. So if you are at your work desk and your shoulders are rounded forward because you're, you're working, now these muscles here are shortening and tightening and the muscles at the back of your shoulders are lengthening but they're gripping to try to bring you back to straight. So they go into spasm and that's where you get your pain. Um, but when this continues for a long period of time, now your body says, okay, that's my new normal. And then before you know it, your posture has changed and now you can't really you know, stand up straight and now your head is comp compensating. So now you're getting a curve in your neck, you may get neck pain and headaches. This becomes your new normal. If you were to reverse that or with a massage, the deep tissue to help open up your shoulders or a stretch that opens up like we um, are talking about going, you know, using yoga more these days, looking up to the ceiling, that opens up your shoulders, it stretches those muscles, it allows your posture to come back to normal, and it rewires the brain to say, okay, this is normal. If you don't, you could end up going in for um, surgeries. I've seen people whose shoulders are so rounded forward that they can't lift their arm because the way that your body is aligned, if if you are straight, your arm can go all the way up. It has a specific groove in here that allows your bones to move. If you are now rounded forward and bent, now you can't lift your arm because that groove has been taken away. So then people end up with rotator cuff surgeries. This is true for the lower back, for the knees. It goes on. Um, Neck issues usually can um, go all the way down the nerve and into the lower arm and forearm. Also can come through the pec muscle and squeeze the blood supply and the nerves that go down to your arm. Uh, I've had symptoms of carpal tunnel for years, but it is not coming from there because I have you know, tightness from working with my arms in front of me. And when this is released, then my hands don't hurt anymore. So these are just some simple tools that you can use. If you can um, get yourself in for some therapy on a regular basis, you can avoid some costly surgeries. And I'm happy to say that over the past 22 years, I have helped a lot of people to stay out of the doctor's office. And um, one particular case I have, he was coming in every week for 13 years, and um, when he first came to me, he had um, he wasn't able to do his job anymore. He had uh, run a trucking and paving company, and he um, was not able to fix the equipment or run the equipment. And after, I would say, um, a few weeks, he got back to functioning better. After six months, he was running circles around his crew. So it's, you know, how much quality of life do you want to have? If you can um, find a therapist that really um, works with you on your body and listens to you and um, can zero in on where you're holding your deeper sources of tension, then you can get this kind of relief. Um, I do healing work from a distance as well. I do some remote healings, and um, I am still taking clients here in the New Jersey area. And so if you're interested in booking a session, um, please go to my website if you want more information. You can email me. I have the link posted below um, and all the details on my um, website and my phone number is all posted below the video. So. I do hope that I can help you to avoid any more costly um, paths to pain relief and um, get into the flow of what's happening in your body so that you can really be present when any little thing comes up and you say, okay, you know, let's see what's really going on here. 
let's see if it's physical and you know I can accept that you know we we all have these things that we do every day whether it be the car that uh, the seats that we sit in the car the airline uh, seats that can be very damaging for your back and your neck um, you know traveling causes a lot of pain and um, we can help to reverse some of that so that you don't end up having to you know uh, have a, a posture related injury so please uh, take advantage of this information I'm going to share some um, ways to help you feel better all around in the next video so stay tuned and have a wonderful day and please be nice to yourself.